I am so sick of fucking up these recordings. Hello everyone! Mechion here. Let's play... Oh dear god, shark! What the... Let's play Get Attacked by Sharks. No, let's play Maze of Stone. Last video, I feel I was a bit too harsh on this one. This is a... Honestly, I'm just gonna be blunt. This is the most Echo 1-like level out of anything in this game. Whoop. And it's because of several reasons. Not the least being our good old friends... Crushing Shells. Oh, uh, we remember these, don't we? Um, good, not crushed. Oh, we get through them alive. In my aborted video, I died on them about five times. However... Uh, uh, you're kidding me, I forgot the fucking... Uh. Actually, I didn't forget the fucking thing. Not sure if you saw it, but just here there's a rock at the side. I miss it so many times it isn't funny. Normally I'm just speeding down from avoiding the crushing rocks, crushing shells, that I generally miss it at the Epoganogo Pufferfish. And that's not our last thing in this level that we need to push around. Another reason this is such an Echo 1-esque level... Um, where are they? I'm sick of you, Starfish. You can die. But no, um, where is it? Hmm. That's an odd red and white symbol just over there. Let's invest. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the stone eating stars. Not the stone eating stars. That's right, everyone. The stars are back. And they're making sure their absence is felt, as these are pretty much one of the most important things to use in this level. Also, our good buddies, the Pufferfish, are back in force. You thought we had enough Pufferfish in the last levels. You are wrong. We fight all types of Pufferfish in this nightmare. Also, Sharks and Crabs are back, but... Fuck them. Who cares about sharks and crabs? We've got Pufferfish! Uh, I just gotta remember where the hell I'm going, because it's one of those levels where I get horribly lost incredibly quickly. Oh! Turtles! The Maze of Stone, we basically need to swim around in sonar glyphs which break open rocks for us. I don't actually remember if we've already used this in a level or not. I'm bloody forgetful today. Thankfully, there's an air pocket just by it, and whoa, I took a lot of damage from those damn shells. As you saw, the glyph ate all the rocks for us. Just like in a few other levels where it did that, but I don't remember offhand at the moment. Oh, pulse sonar, pulse sonar, pulse sonar. We gotta get that, we gotta get the pulse sonar. Oh god. Not even Pufferfish can keep me away from pulse sonar. If you didn't already get it, I love this ability. Does it make up for losing a few other ones? Probably not, but. With this many pufferfish around, this thing is gold. Yes, we're heading on the right path. And we're back at the beginning of the level. Hmm. A path that I didn't show you guys at the beginning has actually opened up down this way. Um... In practice runs, I just keep running- oh, bugger off. Just keep running into this without killing- without actually getting rid of the glyphs, so I never find out what's down here. Just like in Echo 1, a dolphin tells us that we need to use a key glyph twice. However, he doesn't even tell- 
Unless that there's a key glyph nearby. Actually, was that a dolphin back in Echo 1 or was it? Oh, bollocks. <sighs> the cliff is just within sight, but no! Guess what we have to use? That's right. I'm kind of surprised that the stars are actually in this level. They're in no other level in the game, if I remember correctly. Of course, I didn't actually remember that they were in this level until I started playing it, so my memory's a bit foggy at worst. Ow. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks, fucking... Ugh. Stone-eating stars. This is why no one likes you. Okay, I'm back, everyone. Um, yeah, it turns out I forgot something while heading off, actually. Um, had to go to the side in the pufferfish cave, and so on this one as well. Although, with that one sonar, we can get... Whoa. We can get going and not have to deal with having to push around the goddamn thing for another few seconds. We'll need to come back here very promptly, because as the dolphin mentions, we need to reuse this barrier glyph all the way at the end of the level, actually. It's one of those incredibly annoying ones where you don't actually need to use it until just at the end of the level and you still need to go through this massive maze beforehand. Well, okay, it's probably not very Echo 1 esque, but eh. What was it? I don't remember anymore. My good memory. You don't actually need to use these stars just here. You can just power your way through those rocks, but... The shells. Shells, rocks, same difference. They both fall and hurt me. We're in another lagoon. Where we do, indeed, need to start using the stars. This is... Possibly the most annoying part of the level for me. Yeah, we need to push the stars downward. Through a current, and no, 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 we're not done yet with these bastards. Oh no, don't, don't go through the wall, don't go through, oh yes, good. Bad, very bad. We need to get them to there. Maybe we can still salvage this. Nope. Fuck. Thankfully, there's plenty of, um, unpuffed puffer fish for us to eat. Alright, now let's do this without fucking up this time. I can honestly not do this all in one hit. I always need to go back for the stars after I, the first time I use them. Alright. Thankfully, we do get a new spawning set of stars just up ahead, so we can ditch this group. Or, if you want to, you can use them a third time. Get this stone just here. I have this odd habit of axe always knocking that through the wall. I probably should stop sonaring like a madman. Also, this current here will provide you with air, so incredibly useful. That's really a theme with a couple of the currents in this level. They all tend to provide air, which is, um, very nice, actually. Oh, fuck, pufferfish, pufferfish. And there's a last stone-eating glyph for the level. I can also say I prefer the stone-eating glyphs above the stone-eating stars. Oh, fuck off, pufferfish. 
trying to beat the level. That done. I'm just gonna grab me some air, some fish first, because next bit's a bit annoying. Anywho. Whoa, just missed it. Not sure if you saw it, but a rock was starting to fall over this side. Unfortunately, we missed it, so we need to go up and let it respawn. Okay, damn it, so close. Maybe this time we can... Ooh, just made it. With that done, next time we have four islands. The worst fucking level in the game. I mean it. If you thought the orcas were bad, wait until you see four islands. It's the follow mission. Until then, everyone. See us.